The Turex AV-81, an 8x8-wheeled armored personnel carrier, was initially designed in Ireland by Timoni for Singapore Technologies Kinetics. The vehicle underwent initial testing in Ireland and the United Kingdom before being sent to Singapore for evaluation in 2000. Production began in 2006, with the Singapore Armed Forces acquiring a total of 1,350 units of the Turex armored personnel carrier. The Turex stands as one of the most advanced APCs of its time, boasting a modular protection system. Its steel armor provides comprehensive defense against 7.62mm NATO rounds and artillery shell splinters. The frontal area can withstand 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds, and the addition of ceramic composite armor plates offers an even higher level of protection. The maximum level of all-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. With its double V-shaped hull, the Turex can deflect mine blasts, enduring up to a 12 kg TNT explosion beneath the hull while remaining operational. The vehicle is also equipped with an NBC protection system. In its APC configuration, the Turex AV-81 is armed with a remotely controlled 40mm automatic grenade launcher and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Alternatively, it can be equipped with a remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun. The vehicle also comes in various turret-mounted armament configurations, although these configurations typically accommodate fewer personnel. Notably, the Turex features a modular top deck that allows for configuration changes, transforming it from an anti-tank missile carrier to a 105mm fire support vehicle. The Turex APC comes equipped with a battlefield management system that enhances situational awareness on the battlefield. With a two-person crew, the Turex can transport up to 12 fully equipped troops or up to 11 tons of cargo internally. Entry and exit for occupants are facilitated through hull and roof hatches, while the commander and driver have their own dedicated roof hatches. The vehicle is powered by a Caterpillar C9 turbocharged diesel engine that delivers 400 horsepower. The engine is positioned at the front of the hull. The Turex achieves impressive mobility through its Timoni independent suspension system and features a central tire inflation system. It is amphibious, propelled on water by two hydrojets. The AV-81 is also available as an infantry fighting vehicle, armed with either a 20mm or 30mm cannon. This variant comes with a two-person turret, a crew of three, and the capacity to carry eight troops. Additional potential variants include a mortar carrier, armored ambulance, and recovery vehicle. Transportation via AC-130 Hercules or similar cargo aircraft is possible for the Turex. Variants, AV-82 Yavuz is a version of the Turex AV-82 APC developed by the Turkish company Otokar. The Yavuz features several changes, including hull details and an enhanced suspension system. Despite being proposed to various customers, it did not receive any production orders. Turex 2 is a modified iteration with improved amphibious capabilities, tailored to meet the requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps' Amphibious Armored Personnel Carrier Program. Turex 3 is an advancement of the Turex 2, specifically developed to meet the Australian Army's demand for an armored reconnaissance vehicle. In Australia, it is known as the Sentinel 2. While lacking the amphibious capability of the previous Turex 2, the Turex 3 offers greater protection and a more potent armament. It features a turret armed with a 30mm cannon and is operated by a crew of two, with space for 11 dismounts.